So we will go, we will praise the kingdom of God is here. Hello, welcome to Church on the Go and Ambassadors for Christ. I'm Pastor Steve Coates and this is Pastor Curtis Hi. Alexander and we welcome you today. Today we're uh, talking about ambassadors in the kingdom of God. And what are ambassadors? What do they do? Well, the scripture talks about ambassadors in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 20. The Apostle Paul says, Now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God were pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. And when you think of an ambassador in the natural sense, Curtis, they, they are sent out as people who negotiate, people who bring messages, oh, yes. people who represent, yes. people who are emissaries, yes. uh, people who are deputies. Mm -hmm. uh, they're sent out on behalf of kingdoms and nations. Uh, they're sent out to represent the, the government of the day or the king of the day. They represent uh, the people uh, in negotiations with other countries and so on. So we are sent out as ambassadors for Christ. We're representing the kingdom of God. That's right. We're speaking on his behalf. Right. And uh, we're not speaking our own message or our own idea or opinions. Right. But we're speaking the decrees of the king. That's right. That's right. And That's he is the king of kings. And Absolutely. The Lord of Lords. He's sovereign, right? Absolutely. So when we go out to represent Christ, uh, we're going out on behalf of the kingdom of heaven. Yes. So we have authority to represent him. But we gain that authority because we have been born of God. Uh, you know, the, the king or the government gets the right to choose their own ambassadors. Mm -hmm. That's right. And not everybody's an ambassador, not everybody's a child of God. You know, only the people who are born of God are the children of God. And the Bible is very clear about that. John chapter 1, verses 12 and 13. Uh, and first uh, epistle of John, he talks a number of times about being born of God. Being so born of God, yeah. We need to be born of God. And yes. then we have the opportunity to go forth as ambassadors to represent the king. That's right. You have to be born into the kingdom before you can represent that kingdom. Right. And some people think that we're all children of God on earth, but right. no. It's only those that come by way of Jesus Christ. That's it. Right? That's right. Those that believed or received Jesus Christ, to them he gave the power Absolutely. or the right to become the children of God. Absolutely. And so the interesting thing is that ambassadors, when they go out or sent out to other uh, places, uh, they operate what's called embassies. Absolutely. Okay? Ambassadors operate embassies, and those embassies are technically the mission representing the kingdom that they represent. Yes. So uh, in our country, for example, we have embassies from all kinds of different nations. That's right. And when we go out, we represent the kingdom of God. Therefore, embassies are, in, a, in the plural sense, are like the plural sense of churches in the New Testament. There is about 35, approximately, times in the New Testament that the term church is plural is used. Absolutely. And uh, I know that you've had the, the opportunity to talk to a few people about the difference and our distinction about what an assembly of believers is when we gather together. Jesus said where two or three are gathered together, there am I in the midst. So when yeah. there's an assembly, he is there with us corporately. Mm -hmm. We are corporately gathered together. And when we are dispersed, we can go forth as the ambassadors of the kingdom of God to implore people to be reconciled to yeah, God. Yeah, and, and really those embassies in the natural, you think of a natural embass uh, embassy in Canada, it's that foreign country is being represented in Canada, or it's Canada being represented in a foreign country. Right. And when you enter that embassy's turf, where you're on the, right. in that property, you're in that country. Absolutely. So if you're in a Canadian embassy in, in the United States, yeah. you're in Canada. Yeah. And if you're in a, an American embassy in Canada, then you're in the United States right. in that embassy. Yeah. So it is when we gather together, we're really in the kingdom when we're, we're corporately, corporately assembled. When we're corporately assembled. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because we each have the king inside of us. Absolutely. You know what Absolutely. I mean? So uh, these local, and there's more than one embassy oh, yes. for one country in Canada. Yeah. 
And so there's more than one embassy in the kingdom of God Absolutely. in Canada, too. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so what's the distinction between uh, um, a public uh, a oh, gathering yeah. well, or a I, gathering? You know, um, I understand in the, you know, you, you have people in, uh, that say, well, I just meet in my home. Well, there's nothing wrong with a home Bible study. No. Oh, that's right. There's nothing wrong with that. Study the Bible with your family. That's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. But it's not a local church right. in the sense that Paul makes a distinction here. Um, in a couple of different verses, I'll just read one and you can do some more research for yourself. In 1 Corinthians 11 and 34, it says in the Geneva Bible, And if any man be hungry, let him eat at home, mm -hmm. that ye come not together unto condemnation. Other things will I set in order when I come. He's talking about right. serving the table of the Lord. Where? In the church. Right. So there's a distinction between home and church. And right. in a place like Canada where we are free to gather in a public assembly, to gather in public embassies, Right. That's where we should gather. Right. The ambassadors can't be fully equipped or fully trained if they hide in their homes. Right. I mean, if you think in the natural, an, a, a, an ambassador in the natural, yeah. they live in their private home. Yeah. The, the, the consulate affairs don't happen at the private home. Right. They happen at the embassy right. Right? in right. Ottawa right. or yeah. in Vancouver or yeah. wherever it happens yeah. to be. So it is in the, in the kingdom of God. We each have our private homes, and we can do our little Bible studies there. Yeah. But we have the table of the Lord Amen. in the public assembly. Yeah. We do baptisms in the public assembly. Yeah. All of that stuff. Yeah. And ambassadors are trained and raised up in the kingdom. Yes, absolutely. And the interesting thing is that, as I mentioned earlier, that the term plural for churches appears about 35, 36 times, depending on the translation, throughout the scriptures. Absolutely. Another way it is worded, uh, Paul talking... I believe to Timothy or about Timothy in 1 Corinthians chapter 4 he says uh, for though you have 10,000 instructors in Christ yet you do not have many fathers for in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel therefore I urge you imitate me for this reason I have sent Timothy to you that is my beloved and faithful son in the Lord who will remind you of my ways in Christ as I teach everywhere in every church. Yes, amen. So it's, it's interesting, you know, a lot of people get onto the corporate universal church and they forget the local church. Yeah. The local church is like a local embassy yes. of the kingdom of God. That's right. And Paul said, I teach this everywhere in every church. That's right. So we want to encourage you. In our next uh, little video clip, we're going to be dealing with the thought of the uh, kingdom of heaven and the wealth of heaven that's available to us as ambassadors or representatives of the kingdom of God. That's right. We also have studies uh, called the Ambassadorial Review. You'll find it on our webpage, and we encourage you to take a look-see there. We thank you for watching today, yes. and hopefully these thoughts will challenge you to prayerfully consider some of these thoughts and how you can become more effective as an ambassador of the kingdom of God. God bless. God bless. So we will go.